10 men working 6 hours a day complete a work in 18 days. How many hours a day must 15 men work to complete the same work in 12 days? Well, we can solve this in another way. We can take the total number of hours required to complete the work. So we have total number of men and the total hours required to complete. So we have 10 men who work for 6 hours a day to complete a work in 18 days. So 6 hours a day for 18 days. So the total hours to complete is 6 hours times 18. Okay. Now next we have been given there are 15 men. So 15 who work for 12 days. So times 12 and we have been asked how many hours per day these men work. So let it be x. Right. Now we have to determine the relation between these two entities whether it is proportional or indirectly proportional. Well, if you increase the number of men the total hours to complete will decrease. Right. So this is inversely proportional. Now we can solve this and because this is an inverse proportion we can invert one of the ratios. So let's invert this ratio. So we write 15 by 10 is equal to this is as it is. So 6 into 18 by x into 12. So 6 times 2 is 12 and 2 times 9 is 18. So therefore x is equals to we have 9 times 10 by 15. 5 threes are 15, 5 twos are 10. 3 times 3 is 9. So this is equals to 6. So 6 hours per day is what these men work for. So the answer is option A. 39 persons can repair a road in 12 days working 5 hours a day. In how many days will 30 persons working 6 hours a day complete the work? Well, you have number of persons and the total hours to complete this work, right? Now, when you have 39 persons, they can repair the road working for 5 hours a day for 12 days. So, 5 times 12 is the total number of hours. Now, next is in how many days will 30 persons, so we have 30 persons working 6 hours per day complete the work. So, 6 times let the number be x days. So we have a proportion here which is an inverse proportion because when you increase the number of persons the total hours to complete the work decreases. Right. So we have an inverse proportion. We can solve this. Let us invert this ratio. We can write 30 by 39. This ratio is as it is. So 5 times 12 by 6 times x. So 6 twos are 12. So I have x is equals to 5 times 2 is 10 times 39 by 30. So 10 times 3 is 30 and 3 times 13 is 39. So this is equals to 13 days in all. So option B is the correct answer. Three pumps working 8 hours a day can empty a tank in 2 days. How many hours a day must four pumps work to empty the tank in one day? Now we have the number of pumps and the total hours to complete. So we have three pumps working eight hours a day for two days to empty the tank. So we have three pumps working eight hours a day. So eight times two will give you the number of the total number of hours to complete the work that is to empty the tank. Now we have been asked how many hours a day must four pumps work to empty the tank in one day. So we have four pumps working for one day and we have been asked how many hours will they take. So let the hours be x. Now this is again an inverse proportion because when you increase the number of pumps the total time taken to empty the tank will decrease. So an inverse proportion. So taking the ratios so inverting this term we get 4 by 3 is equals to this term is as it is. So 8 times 2 by x. Right. So x is equals to 8 times 2 by 4 times 3. 4 times 2 is 8. So this is equals to 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. So we have x is equals to 12. That is 
the total hours per day that these pumps need to work for is 12 hours. Option D. If 8 men can reap 80 hectares in 24 days, then how many hectares can 36 men reap in 30 days? Well, we can take number of men and hectares per day as our two quantities. So, you have 8 men who can reap 80 hectares in 24 days. So, 8 men and hectares per day will be 80 by 24. Now, how many hectares can 36 men reap? So, we have 36 men and let the hectares be x per day will be x by 30. 30 days is given to us. Now, when you increase the number of men, the hectares per day reaped will also increase, right? More men will reap more. So, this is a direct proportion. So, we can directly equate them. So, this is equal to we have 8 by 36 is equals to we have 80 times 30 by x times 24. So, 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 8 is 24, and 8 times 10 is again 80. Now, 4 2s are 8 and 4 9s are 36. So, I have this x goes to the left and this 2 by 9 comes to the right. So, I have x is equals to 9 times 10 times 10 divided by 2. That is 900 by 2. And that is equals to 450. So, the total hectares that 36 men can reap in 30 days is 450. So, option D is the correct answer for us. If 7 spiders make 7 webs in 7 days, then 1 spider will make 1 web in how many days? Well, we can have number of spiders and the webs per day that these spiders make. Thus, we have 7 spiders who make 7 webs in 7 days. So, the number of spiders is 7 who make 7 webs in 7 days. Now, we have been asked in how many days will 1 spider make 1 web. So, we have 1 spider in how many days will it make 1 web. So, the more the number of spiders, the more webs they will make. So, this means that this is a direct proportion. So, I can take the ratio and directly equate them. So, I have 7 is equal to this 7 and 7 gets cancelled. This x goes to the top. So, 7 by 1 is equal to x by 1. And therefore, x is equal to 7. And that's our answer. Option C.